Hey folks, uh, I am Truman. I'm your instructor for uh, English 102. Hopefully you're in either section 38 or 41. I'm doing this video for both of those sections. Uh, I just want to welcome you and say that I'm really excited to be your teacher. Um, and this video is mostly for people who weren't able to make it to class today for whatever reason. The roads weren't very good, it was very cold, uh, and our room wasn't necessarily that easy to find. I know somebody uh, got even in a car accident, and that's, that's pretty awful. I myself had a hit and run while I was at class today. Ooh. Uh, that said, uh, we went over the syllabus in class today, and so I want to use this screencast to talk to you a little bit about the syllabus. Right below, uh, right below us here is a link for you to uh, download the syllabus in a PDF form. I'd appreciate it if you did that and printed it out. Uh, read it very thoroughly. We're going to go over it very quickly here on screen. So let's get started. Uh, here you can see uh, title of the course, all that, all this stuff's pretty straightforward. My office. This is uh, well. Let's let's start over here. This is my phone number. This is my uh, cell phone. Uh, so please uh, feel free to call it, but don't call before 9 a.m. and don't call be after 9 p.m. Try to call during the day. You know, a good rule of thumb is if it's light outside, you can call me. Uh, here, the, uh, my office. I don't really have an office, so I hold my office hours in the Tulip Tree Cafe. It's the coffee shop that's in the library. So, uh, and I meet there after class from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and it's really good to make an appointment. Uh, generally, my office hours are pretty filled up, and if you want to make sure and see me, it's a good idea to have an appointment. But if you don't have an appointment, stop by anyway. Okay, over here you can see the course description. I'll let you read that on your own, but it does give you a sense. Uh, we're going to be, we're going to be, uh, Comp 102 is going to be about research. It's also going to be about uh, collaborative writing and working together in groups to do that research um, and uh, figure out different modes of inquiry. We'll talk about what that means uh, later on. Okay, scrolling down, let's see. Over here you've got a schedule of assignments. The way you read this is uh, this is the month and the day of the month. So 2-1 would be February 1st. February 1st, that the Kelly response. Um, We'll get to the website in a minute. We can go there right now. Here's a website. So if we go to the home section of the website, you can find the Kelly response right here. Response to Kelly's Scan This Book. You just click on that. You can see you can download the PDF right here. It allows you to download it. We'll go back. But you, you'll download this, you'll read through this, uh, this article, I think this is uh, an article from the New York Times, and then right here is the writing prompt. And you can see it says right here, got to have at least 300 words total and posted to your individual blog before February 1st. So it gives you the, the due date, where you're supposed to put it, how long it's supposed to be, all that. This individual blog thing, that's one thing about the class, everybody's going to have their own blog. Uh, that's going to be a separate uh, screencast, and we're going to be uh, signing up for that in class on Thursday. So if you miss class Thursday, you probably want to check back and see what we're doing there. Okay, let's go back. So um, what this means is that that Kelly response is due before class on February 1st. It doesn't mean after class or during class or anything like that, before class. If you get it done before class, you get all the points. 100% of the points. If you don't get it done uh, by class time, you'll either get zero or a significant reduction. Uh, so you want to make sure you get that stuff done uh, before class. Uh, let's move up. Over here, this talks about participation, attendance, um, community deadlines, and stuff like that. Uh, basic, uh, basic rule of thumb in my class, you can miss three class periods without any penalties. Um, it's not really my business why you missed class. I definitely care. If you want to share with me why you missed class, that's great. Tell me about it, whatever. I want to know. But um, I don't want to overstep my bounds, ask you to talk to me about things that aren't my business. So I'll be hands off unless you bring it up to me. 
So that's three absences, no penalty to your grade, nothing. On the fourth absence, uh, it's going to be up to you to come see me at my office hours uh, so you and I can work together to put together a plan uh, to do some makeup work. And the makeup work will really depend on what day you missed uh, and maybe what you want to work on for class. Uh, once you do that makeup work, then you'll be off the hook again and you'll be down to three absences again and you uh, it won't be affecting your grade. So three absences, no problem. Fourth absence, come talk to me. We'll make a plan to make sure that you are on track to get the grade you want to get. Required materials, we've got a textbook, uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Harris books book called Rewriting. Over here you can see a very short description of the major assignments, but there are much more thorough descriptions available on the website. And then over here, grading. Uh, the only thing I'll say about grading right now is that I don't use the grade book on uh, Blackboard. Uh, I will be, I use a spreadsheet on my own computer and I'll be com contacting you via email and you can always email me and ask me what your grade is at any point. And I'll definitely keep everybody up to date on their grades at some point before the drop date so you can make a decision whether or not you want to stay. Uh, over here we've got plagiarism. Generally I've never had a problem with plagiarism in my class. Uh, my assignments are relatively unique. I ask pretty specific questions about texts that aren't super popular, so that's pretty tough to plagiarize. I, I haven't had any trouble with it. Um, it's not to say you shouldn't, shouldn't worry about it. You should definitely pay attention. Make sure you're doing your own work and hand that in. And if you ever have any questions about uh, citing something correctly, quoting something correctly, that's definitely uh, a topic we're going to talk about a lot in class. Um, so just let me know if you want any extra help with that. Then we've got the general education statement. Here's how your uh, percentages translate into letter grades at the end of the semester. And then over here we've got the disabilities access statement, which is really important. Uh, if there's anything at all that keeps you from, from being able to succeed in the class, if you are deaf or hard of hearing, um, if you've got trouble seeing well, if you uh, have ADHD or something like that, um, anything that keeps you from uh, succeeding in class, getting the grade that you want to get, that it's where it's something you and I can address, that's definitely something you should talk to me about. It would be tragic for you to, uh, to uh, be self-conscious about that or not want to bring it up. Um, I can certainly understand that, but boy, I, I really want you to succeed in the class and I really want to do whatever I can to help you out with that. Uh, so talk to me if, uh, if you even think that you might have something. Uh, I would love to help. And the last thing is the grievance procedure. Uh, I will say I put a lot of time into trying to make this class a great class. I really try to treat everybody with respect and I try to challenge you guys to succeed as much as I can. And I try to accommodate you in, in whatever ways I can. But that doesn't mean that I'm always successful at those things. So. Um, if you have a problem with me, um, I hope that you bring it up with me, uh, but if for some reason you feel like you can't or you have brought it up with me and you don't get the result that you want, right down here is a statement about uh, the grievance procedure for the class. It gives you a phone number uh, to call and say, hey, I need to talk to somebody. My instructor is not, uh, not doing things he needs to be doing. So um, that essentially is your syllabus. We're going to go over the website in a different podcast. Let me just wrap up by saying that uh, sort of the, the name of the course is, is uh, Introduction to College Writing. Uh, I'm really excited to be your teacher. We're going to learn about collaboration. We're going to learn about research methods. We're going to learn about all sorts of stuff. Um, and I hope that uh, I can make it as fun as possible for you and that you learn a bunch. I look forward to meeting you on Thursday.